Established by BBC engineer Raymond Cook in 1961, KEF is revered worldwide for the unparalleled performance of its loudspeakers. Combining innovation with an uncompromising attitude to quality, the company has been a market leader for almost 50 years, giving it an unrivalled pedigree. KEF's goal has always been to make a loudspeaker that is capable of reproducing recordings so perfectly that they sound indistinguishable from the real event. The all-new Q series has been developed from the ground up to achieve just that. For the new Q series, we've started completely from scratch. We've used technologies and techniques that we developed for some of our flagship loudspeakers, such as the Concept Blade and the Reference Series. And we've also used extensive computer modeling to optimize the design. This results in a sound which has a sweetness and purity typical of much more expensive loudspeakers. The UniQ Array is a core piece of KEF technology. It's been in every version of the Q series. If you look at most loudspeakers, they have a separate mid-range and tweeter, and they're positioned some distance apart. Now that's a very unnatural, unnatural situation. situation. It's, it's a, a bit, bit like, like if you imagine, imagine somebody singing, singing but they, they have, have two mouths. mouths. With the UniQ array, we put the tweeter and the mid-range into one point in space. Yes, the UniQ array for the Q series is designed completely from scratch. Uh, probably the most exciting thing about it is the new tweeter. Uh, it uses a very powerful neodymium magnet system with a, a large re-eventing tube. Uh, we have also got a tangerine waveguide on, on the front, which is a, a new design that we've been working on, which we're very happy with. The, the mid-range system uses a very large magnet system and it has a very high excursion capability. If we were to put a conventional half-roll surround on the driver, it would have to be very large and it would have a big effect on the tweeter. We've developed a, a new surround called the Z-Flex and this has virtually no impact on the tweeter response. The mid-range cone is made from aluminium alloy. It's a slightly different uh, type of design from what we've used before. A lot of conventional loudspeakers will use paper or a plastic cone. But the benefit of aluminium is it's very stiff, so we can make it remain rigid over the whole bandwidth that that driver has to operate. The LF drivers that we've used on the floor standing models are also completely designed from scratch. Uh, with a very large, powerful magnet system and a cast aluminium chassis to hold everything rigidly in place. The floor standing models use ABRs instead of ports to eliminate mid-range distortion and port noise. We've also paid a lot of attention to the construction of the cabinets to make sure that they're well braced to avoid any resonance. In the terminal panels, uh, you'll see a clever control between the binding posts which allow you to link and unlink the posts for bi-amping and bi-wiring. The spikes, which are traditionally a pain to level involving lying on the floor and putting your hands underneath the speakers until it's level, these ones we've arranged that you can adjust from the top uh, with a tool that you supply and it's all very convenient, you can feel what's going on. Because we spent such a long time getting the drivers right, we've been able to use a much simpler approach to the crossovers. We've been able to use first order slopes in many places with just a few high quality components. This means that there's much less in the signal path between the amplifier and the listener. The Q-Series range is extensive and it includes bookshelf models, floor standing models, centre channels, a dipole and a subwoofer. And this is so that it caters for everybody's needs. It, no matter what size the room is you're listening in, no matter what type of music, or even for people who want to put together a real killer home cinema. I'm proud of that we have a very low distortion in the speakers and a very high dynamic. It gives a very, very uh, wonderful sound. It was apparent early on when we were listening to early development samples that we thought oh, we're, we're actually uh, leapt, some, leapt some hedges here. I think all that has been involved in the project is quite proud of it.